Hey everyone, welcome to another Airbrush Asylum pre-live video and this is day two of the Tiger workshop. So this is a black and white Tiger that students have been working on and we're going to go in now and check out to see what they're up to. We've got about an hour left in the class so some are close to finishing. Whether they get it totally done, not sure. Might be pushing it but then they can finish it off at home. But if you tuned in uh, yesterday, you would have seen what they were up to um, yesterday around this time. So let's go take a look and see where they're at today. Let me spin this camera around and we'll go take a look and see what they're up to. So they're all busy working. Start on the other side today. Start with Dominic. So he's near enough finished. Still got a bit more work to do but at the moment he's coming in with a transparent black just to further deepen his shadows. Uh, yesterday did the uh, the first tone so we did like a transparent um, base mixed with a few drops of black to create like a light grey. Scott's is coming along very nicely as well. He's already done lots of the white and progressed quite a bit with his black trying to get his dagger strokes nice and neat and add in the texturing but doing a very good job there so he's got a good chance of finishing we're not too fussed if they don't finish at least they learn how to go about creating these artworks now Alan unfortunately wasn't here yesterday so he's had to catch up so he's been flat out trying to catch the class but um, he's made a bit of progress which is good he's busy working away there and get a better look on this side so he's just working in the white having all sorts of trouble with the white aren't you mate <laughs> white can be difficult at times it's about trying to get the right consistency so Leanne's doing very nicely so just uh, further rendering with that black using a side feed there and then we've got Joe who's also close to finishing done really well with that eye it's looking really good you got the shadow perfect on the top there it looks good you can see even though they're all doing their the same artwork so that's the reference picture there we've got it up on the screen as well but even though they're doing the same one they've all got their own little spin to it so we don't mind we want them to create their own one-of-a-kind piece of artwork um, they are working on canvas board so you can see it's relatively thin but still has the canvas texture so which actually gives a nice look for the airbrush so once um, once it's complete it should look a little like that that was my one that I did just before the class and to seal it I just use the crystal coat matte varnish and just uh, it's in an aerosol can you should be able to get that from art supply shops just sprayed that on and it just neutralizes all of the um, the color so basically I mean this is not colored this is just black and white um, but it when you're airbrushing you still do build up you can see here kind of get some sort of shiny spots here and there so it it will flatten all that out nicely for you keep it all uniformed so that's that one and this is the one I've been working on throughout class so still a bit more work to go on this but we're getting there so slowly but surely but they've done really well I think yeah just an hour exactly to go that's why no one's talking because they want to get it finished but um, doing a nice job so with your black and grey artworks we utilize the uh, transparent base method quite a bit find that works a lot better than just using uh, greys so I'll just shut this door spin this camera around so yeah we find that by using uh, transparent base and mixing up with drops of black um, that just helps to control it rather than a grey. Greys you've got to mix with white so they're opaque 
so they just don't allow for the detail to shine through as you get with the uh, transparent base so using that and making up your uh, your different strengths of black so similar to uh, I'd imagine like um, I'm not a tattooist but similar to how tattooists render their particular artworks they've got different strengths of um, black and then it's kind of like a wash so same sort of thing is what we're trying to do here so anyway enough from me I hope you enjoyed that little insight onto the final day of our tiger workshop um, if you are interested there's lots of courses that we have listed on our website so jump on check that out in the meantime if you haven't already hit subscribe tap on that bell icon that'll notify you every time we put out new content we try and do um, well we at least do weekly content but we're trying to do more videos per week so stay tuned we'll be back again next week with something else not sure yet what it'll be but we'll be back with another video and until then i hope this has in some way inspired you to go and create your app to to go and create to go and grab your airbrush and create some amazing artwork it's been a long weekend anyway thanks for joining us until next time bye for now